It's our first major release weekend of 2014, with four movies opening. One is good, one is crap, and come on, we all know the other two are probably crap too. Two title scene. We're almost through, people, I swear. January is just another week and a half, I think, two weeks most. We get into February, we get RoboCop and the Lego Movie, and for this week, we got Shadow Recruit to get us through, but unfortunately, there are some really big turds still with us. And let's not forget, we got I Frankenstein to get through. But let's focus on the here and now, with this week's results. Coming in at sixth place is American Hustle, with $9.85 million dollars, not bad, considering it STOLE THE SAG AWARD FOR BEST ENSEMBLE CAST! I know no one cares about the SAG Awards, but... I DO! Coming in at number 5, Frozen with 11.858 million. That film ain't going nowhere. Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit coming in at 4th with 15.58 million. Sad. Coming in at 3rd place, The Nut Job with 19.405 million. Bad. Coming in at number two, Lone Survivor, 22.059 million, still doing very good. And number one, Right Along, 41.6 million. Don't worry, I'm going to have my thoughts on that movie later this week. But what do I think of these results? Well, like I said, American Hustle won the SAG Award for Best Ensemble Cast. For those of you who don't know, the SAG Awards are the Screen Actors Guild Awards, a.k.a. the reason any starving actor who tries to go to audition gets screwed over by people who are allowed to cut in line when you've been waiting two hours. But that's a rant for another day. And essentially, American Hustle keeps getting buzz. It keeps winning things. It keeps getting awards, and people keep seeing it. I don't think it's going to be around next week here. But, you know, word of mouth gets through. Then you got Frozen. Kids movie, family movie, and it's been doing great. It's a DC musical, always attracts attention. That film also getting Oscar buzz, or maybe it did get nodded. I actually haven't checked the Oscar things. I'm not big on early predicting these things because, well, the Academy, they're all on another planet. Let's just settle it at that. Then we've got the nut job. Oh, no, wait. Jack Ryan. How could he not make enough money? It's so good. It's cool. It's awesome. Ladies, you get your pine nut. But seriously, this little wallet wasn't marketed much. I was really shocked. This was going to be their Christmas Day movie. There was one or two commercials. Looked very generic. The average audience has probably just barely heard of Tom Clancy or Jack Ryan. So, yeah, they really screwed up the marketing on that one. And again, like I said, and this is what people are hearing, it's just a generic spy movie. But seriously, a generic spy movie, no matter how bad it is, is better than a nut job. That film's awful. Parents, why did you think this looked good? Seriously, if anything, this movie should be a reason for why we should take all the squirrels and eat them. Preferably with barbecue sauce, because squirrel and honey mustard doesn't go well. Don't ask me why I know that. Then Alone Survivor, very good, very awesome. This film has made a lot of money. Very good for Mark Wahlberg, just a very good for everyone all around. I'm glad a film like this, great American, great war story, has done what it d has. Does it pander a little? Yeah, I guess. But, hey, still an awesome movie. And right along. Whoop de frickin do. Look, I like Kevin Hart. He's a funny, hilarious comedian. Everything I've heard, he's a nice guy to be around. But this movie looks awful. Like I said, I'll have my thoughts on that later. But the thing is, is, is that what I don't like is this movie just markets itself on Kevin Hart. Ra not even as him in the film, just like, Kevin Hart's the best comedian ever. He's the greatest. We all love his stand-up. Everyone should watch his stand-up. And yes, his stand-up is very good, but the movie is marketing itself on nothing but that. That's a problem for me. I thought we were past the point where movies just get sold on the big actor or the big director. But apparently not, and it looks like this movie is only making money thanks to the Kevin Hart fan base, which I consider myself a part of, but again, I just 
really it's just so disappointing to see just a film that doesn't even look good in the trailers and the commercials. I guess, you know, everyone loves a comedian, when that comedian panders to general audiences, but what are you going to do? And what would you like to do? Because you can tell me what you're going to do. Tell me in the comment section below what you thought of this video and these movies and just anything relating to this topic and genre. And as always, click here to subscribe. And if you could, click that like button below because I like getting liked. You know, like liking things. 